So I wanted to share with you uh, the second lesson from the season of autumn. So we are beginning uh, a period of time where there is almost as much daylight as there is night. Uh, we have almost 12 hours of day and 12 hours of evening time. And so it's a reminder that uh, life includes the light and the dark. And uh, on the spiritual path, there's much that we can learn in the light, but there's also much that the darkness can teach us. And so that's the invitation uh, for this season, is to learn also from the darkness. Most of us prefer the light. Most of us prefer the daytime. Uh, but we need to be, stay present to God in the dark. And by dark, I don't mean uh, morally dark, but I mean just places in our life that just we don't yet know uh, what steps to, do, to take or what decisions to make. Things are still unclear, uncertain, uh, unknown. And so those are places that we're invited to, uh, to, to pray into and to live into and to trust God uh, in the midst of, of those places. So today I wanted to um, share with you a poem by David White. Uh, Dr. Dan Dolquist, who's our retreat leader, shared it with us, uh, I think in the spring, um, as part of uh, one of these prayers. But I think it's, it bears repeating. It's a favorite prayer, a poem of mine. Um, so I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to just share some reflections on uh, Nicodemus, who uh, went to Jesus in the night. And then I'll lead us in a prayer. So, so first, uh, these words from David White. When your eyes are tired, the world is tired also. When your vision has gone, no part of the world can find you. Time to go into the dark where the night has eyes to recognize its own. There you can be sure you are not beyond love. There you can be sure you are not beyond love. The dark will be your home tonight. The night will give you a horizon further than you can see. The night will give you a horizon further than you can see. You must learn one thing. The world was made to be free in. Give up all the other worlds, except the one to which you belong. Give them all up, except the one to which you belong. Sometimes it takes darkness and the sweet confinement of your aloneness to learn anything or anyone that does not bring you alive is too small for you. I was reminded of Nicodemus, who was a good, decent, ethical, moral, just human being, a Pharisee. The kind of person today who goes to worship every Sunday and gives 10% of his income away to the mission of Jesus Christ and is out there volunteering at soup kitchens and food pantries. Uh, people who are kind of the toast of the, of the town and that people look up to them and respect them and so and yet Nicodemus knew uh, somehow as he listened to Jesus and and took heart to what he said that there was something missing and he longed for an encounter with him and so in the dark of night he went to meet Christ and what did he discover but a deep and profound love and what did he learn he learned uh, even more deeply that that he was loved and that God so loved the world that he sent us Jesus. So that's the invitation in the dark, to trust that there's something there to be discovered, something that the darkness is offering you and teaching you. So let us pray. Lord, help us to develop our night eyes and to look for and to discover the treasure that can only be found in the dark. And help us to trust in the darkness that, that we can never be beyond your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.